The oyster. What really do you know about the oyster? Well, sure, they're tasty, and if you're lucky, you might find a pearl inside of one. But you know what? There is so much more to this tasty little morsel. Yeah, the world is my oyster, right? That's, see? Uh, see, that's what I know about it. Well, well back to the, the little <laughs> things that you may not know. According to an article on Huffington Post, oysters can live up to 20 years. And their shells, well, they're great for gardening. Yes, they are. So today we are celebrating the oyster. And what better way to do that than by eating one. We have brought in Chef Thomas O'Neill, <laughs> Suicide Bridge Restaurant. Thank you so much for coming in today. Yes, sir. You told me early. T tell me again what we're making today. Uh, it's just a herb butter. We're going to put it on some oysters and pop them in the broiler for a minute. And wow. then eat it? And they, oh, it's terrible. Isn't oh. it? <laughs> I Don't hate you hate this, this job, job. Jimmy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so we have, we, it looks like we have some butter. What else yep, do we have butter, there? Butter, parsley, lemon juice, lemon zest, Parmesan cheese, garlic, rosemary, and thyme. And I've done all the important work of preparing these for you guys. Oh, okay. you didn't, you didn't oh, trust me, did I like you? it when you do that. Oh, no, Jimmy, you and a knife. You've used it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just, so everything's all measured out and yep, ready to ready go to here. Go. I'm going to take this off here while I put things in there. There you go. That. That. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. That's just a hold while you dump everything else in there. Parsley. Rosemary. Rosemary. You know, the rosemary always has to come before the thyme. That's right. Because that's how the song goes. Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of garlic. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Lemon zest. Mmm, and lemon zest. And, and Parmesan cheese. And Parmesan cheese. You got it. Now, we're just going to basically cream this up in the, yep. in the mixer. Yeah, and it's kind of important that you... Uh, Here, I'll do the dishes. You let your butter soften to room temperature before you start, otherwise you're going to get probably close. end up with a mess with that lemon juice in there flying all over the kitchen. Oh, okay. Good so let's see if we can do this. Starting it off. Got it yeah, you want to start a little bit slow, but then... And then kind of... Yeah, pick let this. it go. Pick so tell us about these oysters. Yeah. Uh, these are local oysters now. You know, they say any month that has an R in it is good for oysters. <laughs> so we're, so yeah, we're on September. So we're perfect. Yeah. Good. It's almost October. Boy, that was close. Yeah, right. Yeah, right, there we go. So, so just... What kind, of, what kind of thing would you fix this for? What, this butter? Yeah. Uh, you could really do it for anything. I chose oysters just because they're in season, but you can put it on chicken, fish. I mean, nothing really hurts with butter. Right. So, so this would be good for a little dinner party good or for anything, yeah. something important. Yeah, and it'll like hold in your meeting. refrigerator, too. It'll hold for a couple weeks, you know, after you prepared it. Oh, really? Just wrap it up in plastic wrap and throw it in the fridge for, you know, a week, two weeks. I think it'd be good just on toast. Yeah, yeah, you can smear Ooh. it on bread and do the same thing as pour it. Is this, is, am I doing this right? Because it's all like one big clump in there. That's when you oh, pick up the taste. more power. See, that's how more I would have started. There would have been stuff everywhere. All right, there so. We go. Now, I guess what we're going to do is go ahead and put some of that butter on top of the oyster. Oh, she's mixing that. You've got some here, right? i got some already okay. done. Okay, so how much do I put on here? How much do you like butter? Well, I mean, this is good for one <laughs> of them. I mean, you could just eat the butter if you, you wanted to. You do it that way, yeah. <laughs> okay. And you got to remember, too, that when you when you broil them, the butter naturally is going to melt, so something's going to run out. So if you think it's too much, oh, I see it might okay. not actually be. Gotcha. So plan ahead there for... Well, that, I might be a bit much. Much, yeah, right after you said you can't really put too much on there, <laughs> I did. So, all right. Well, I'm working on it. We'll I'm, not, I'm not believing, we'll you know, like you here. can never use too much butter on anything. So, so you're okay with, all right, I'm going to use this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> this is the only time they let me use a knife, is to scrape something else off of a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen me cook, haven't you, Chef? Yeah, I've seen you cook a few times. So a few times. how is everything at Suicide Bridge? Everything going well? It's good, yeah, we had a good summer. Um, starting to slow down now, but, you know, it's to be expected. The yeah? season's over. What, what do you highlight on your menu this time of year? Uh, mostly oysters and right? um, crab meats. Just at the end, so we still have a couple more weeks of good crab meat. So get in and get your crab meat. Yeah, rockfish. Um, you know, stuff that's in season right now is what we're right. kind of going after. And if you would like the recipe for your herb oysters, you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to delmarvalife.com or just give us a call, 443-880-9116. Make sure if you give us a call or even if you send in um, for the recipe, let us know what recipe you want. After. Herb oysters is just what we're in. making yep, today. Just in the broiler, going in. on high, yep. All right. About how long in the broiler? Uh, you're really just looking to melt the butter and mm -hmm. um, Woo. the oyster to get warm. Uh -huh. I mean, you don't really have to cook it to death. Right, you want your oysters right. still to be moist. But what if I'm hungry now? Well, then there you are go. Are yes, 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 That's why, why we, we have, have this time. magical kitchen where things are, are finished right away all right. so we can taste them right away. And now so we we're going to pick one. Yeah, I start to say, be nice and be neat there. I'm not going <laughs> to. This is, Chef, thank you so much for, sure, for bringing us in. And Thanks for having me. You know what amazes me? 
<laughs> that Sean, uh, Sean, Sean always, always managed to show up, up somehow. I don't know how he does it. I don't know why it surprises him. Where's mm. Rudy? Hmm. Yeah, I told him for a walk. He's down for a nap now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. This is fantastic, Chef. This is very good. Yeah. Are you an oyster fan? I love them. Yeah? I love them. Now you got something new to put on. There you go. Have there it. you go. All right. Thank you, Thomas. Yeah, thank you. you. So good.